Yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks a lot for joining us on this day. <clears throat> a very uh, busy week we've had with the news as usual. Um, the NMPC and um, the Ministry of uh, Petroleum has been in the news for the past week. With a lot of drama with regards to the powers of uh, the Minister of State. Uh, there were accusations flying all over the place uh, with the, the, the head of, the, of the, probably the most popular parastatal in this country. And uh, the Minister of State, as well as the Minister himself, who is Mr. President uh, Buhari. There were so many allegations and figures being thrown around. But um, we woke up on, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday to see uh, the Minister of Petroleum, Minister of State for Petroleum, the NPC Oga. <laughs> Shaking hands and having a laugh, and most of us were not sure exactly where the truce was called, but things have uh, sort of cooled off since then. Um, we're going to be talking about that and a lot more, of course, the things that caught our attention this past week. I have you with me, Wale Oshunde. Thanks for being here today. It's my pleasure. Thanks yeah. for having me. I mean, it, it's, it's a good thing that uh, the, 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 the nerves are calm now, mm. but um, doesn't it leave so many more questions unanswered, seeing as I was supposed to just move on now that they're smiling at Friendly again, talking about uh, Baru and uh, Ankachiko. I think that would be unfortunate because uh, the very most prominent question that we need to ask at this point in time is where is our money? I mean, uh, we're talking about millions of dollars and then, um, <laughs> I mean, those issues are still not being uh, addressed. And then I think uh, the, the president actually needs to put his house in order and then, of course, uh, call uh, these officers and then question uh, you know, uh, the whereabouts of these funds, it's very important. I think the most important thing uh, that, that bothers Nigerians would be the, the, the whereabouts of the money. I mean, we want to know how uh, th this, these monies were spent. I mean, it's, it's gladdening and heartwarming that uh, the, the vice president said that he indeed signed some, uh, some contracts or authorized some, uh, some awards and what have you. But, I mean, for Mr. Kachuku to come and say that he has evidence uh, to... X, Y, Z amount, you know, uh, that, that's huge. And so we really need to prove that further. And then we need to uh, get our money. Yeah. Because that is uh, what, what is of importance to, to Nigeria. Before we talk about the money, a lot of people have to continue to debate about the, the need to have a Minister of State if he supposedly or allegedly seems to not have any powers to do anything. Um, fine, uh, Baru did come out and say, okay, uh, I didn't need you to authorize certain things because I had access to the minister who is the president or the board of the NAPC doesn't approve this, uh, is the board. There were just so many uh, dynamics to that, to that particular uh, drama. But the, most, the question being, if we do not if we have a minister of state who is supposed to oversee the ministry seen as mr president has his hands full with many other things and he still doesn't seem to be aware of the way uh the the live wire of this country is run what does he say about you know his position going forward you see the honest truth is that i've been an advocate of scrapping of ministers of state for xyz why do we need all of that it's unnecessary duplicity, you know. Uh, we do not really need that, clearly speaking. And then from um, uh, the, the dramas that we have seen and we have continued to see in this country, I mean, you see that there is basically no... I mean, you hear about a senior minister, junior minister. What's the meaning of that? I mean, yes, we I can understand... States. Yes, I can so understand the fact that the Constitution the mandates the president uh, to choose at least one minister per state. That is fantastic. But there are ways of going about it. You know, you, you fusing three ministries into one person, three powerful ministries, for example, power, works, housing. You know, this could actually be separated, and then you give another person uh, to, I mean, uh, the, the, the opportunity of overseeing one of those magnificent ministries. That's the honest truth. Because now fusing three ministries, for example, into one person, you want to kill the man. And that's exactly why he's not been able, I mean, he's still struggling to to make sense in all of those ministries because these are really magnificent ministries and you don't expect them to perform magic overnight. It, I mean, it's, it's not possible. So instead of having minister of state for X, Y, Z, when the substantive minister would never give you a chance to perform more than whatever you would do there, I, I think it's really not, you know, it's not reasonable. That's the honest truth. So going forward, I think that the president should appoint a substantive minister of petroleum and if he feels that he wants to personally oversee that ministry, there is no problem about it. But ensure that you find another job for Mr. Kachuku. That's my own opinion, and that's the honest truth. I mean, there's, there's, there's the sort of I mean, a, a debate which, which could be seen as valid by a lot of people. You know, we've had quite a lot of 
corruption allegations over time, over the years, uh, with the minister, whoever the minister of petroleum has been in this country, uh, most notably the very last one, Jesse Ani Alisi Madeke, who is undergoing trial now in the, in the United Kingdom and could possibly come back to Nigeria and also face, face the same thing here. And Mr. President did say that that was one of the reasons why he wanted to oversee the ministry to make sure that, you know, certain things were kept in check. So how do we balance that out with, you know, trying to make sure that this ministry, which has sadly so much potential, but nothing is being fulfilled because there's so many hands in there who want to grab and eat, while also, you know, making sure that things are done properly. How do we balance that and making sure that corruption doesn't, doesn't eat the whole thing up? You see, yes, I, I appreciate you. And then the honest truth is that the president, I mean... He's a good man. He understands what he's talking about. I agree with him 100%. But you see, the real truth of the matter is that most of the laws that we have in Nigeria recognizes the office of the minister and not minister of state. If you check out the Petroleum Act, the Oil Pipelines Act, I mean, all number of laws that we have in Nigeria only recognizes the office of the minister of petroleum. In fact, it is expressly uh, spelled out that the minister of petroleum resources and so um you, you can only find all of these kind of things happening because um the, the gmd of nmpc would be saying that is responsible uh, you know to the minister and then it can only go to the minister and that is the president of the federal republic of nigeria and i think going forward what we simply need to do is to look for another office for uh, the, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, so that all of these back and forth would actually stop. And that's the honest truth. So, but, but I really do not see any reason why the Group Managing Director of the NPC would not be able to work, you know, fantastically well with Dr. Kachuku. And that's the honest truth. I want to believe that there are some elements of politicking going on, you know, one way or the other, and then maybe they really need to sort out one thing or the other. But I just want to appeal that this should not happen you know, uh, at the expense of Nigerians who are actually yearning for the desired change. 